Um, okay, guys. Well, um, you know, I've been hearing a lot of this whole Lavender Town thing, and I recently saw this video by Walter Reborn about him experimenting with uh with the spectrogram of the missing frequencies track. You know, the one you can find here, which allegedly has this ghost inside the spectrogram. I mean, I'm sure that Walter must have freaked out when he saw the damn thing inside of the spectrogram, I mean, I, I would have freaked out too. But the thing, guys, is that, well, actually, what I did here is that I got the original Lavender Town tone from this video here uploaded by Commodore Kulo. And this is actually the real tone of Lavender Town, I mean the one that allegedly caused all the suicides and all that jazz. I'm gonna play it for you guys so you can hear it a little bit. So, as you can see guys, this is the actual Lavender Town tone. Well, what I'm gonna do here is use the same program, which is Spectrogram, to analyze the original Lavender Town tone. And, well, I have already done it, and as you can see here, guys, there's nothing inside the Spectrogram. There's no ghost, there's no you know, there's nothing inside of it. I mean, and we here are talking about the uh, tone who actually made all those kids kill themselves. But as you can see here, there's nothing inside of it. But the reason of it is that, well, there is actually a way to put images inside a spectrogram. In 1999, a guy named Apex Twin which is actually one of my personal favorite musicians he used a program used Metasynth that allows you to insert an image inside a spectrogram as you can see here the effect was achieved through using the Mac based program Metasynth this program allows the user to insert a digital, a digital image as a spectrogram so what probably the guy from Missing Frequencies did was use this program or any other program similar to it to insert the ghost on the Uno inside his track which is the one uh, our friend Walter used when he experimented with it so uh, what I'm saying guys is that there is a way to insert images inside spectrograms and as you can see here inside the original Lavender Town tone there's no such thing as a ghost or unknowns or anything like that and here I'm gonna leave it for you guys to hear it so you can see this is the actual Lavender Town tone If any of you guys is interested in experimenting with this yourselves, well, I can give you the original uh, WAB version of the Lavender Town, which is this from this video that once again Commodore Kilo uploaded uh, a while ago. And um, well, the thing of, of it is that well, let's face it, probably this whole deal with the missing tones. I mean, it's just, I mean, missing frequencies, it's just a hoax. So there's really no no reason to be afraid of it. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys.
Later's